Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a DCF77 module to get the time and date from the radio station. DCF77 is a German long wave time signal and its time code provides a complete date and time string once every minute and the range is about 1000 km. The signal depends on your location, sometimes you have to wait for the signal a bit longer so in the end it really depends on your location. For this project you'll need a DCF77 module. Optional you can use LCD. I'm going to use the LCD with the I2C connection, some jumper wires, breadboard, Arduino board and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Start Visuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Add DCF77 component. Connect Arduino board digital pin 2 to the radio time 1 pin data. Now for this component you can also set in the properties window time zone offset to get the correct time according to your time zone. Now for the simple demonstration you can just connect the radio time 1 pin out to the Arduino board serial pin and read the time and date there but we are going to add the display first we are going to add date time multi-source component now connect radio time 1 pin out to date time multi-source 1 pin in add LCD I2C component now in the properties window set columns for your display and rows in my case this is 20 columns and 4 rows Double click on the display component and in the elements window drag text field to the left side and in the properties window we are going to set width to 20 and initial value to date and time. Now let's add another text field component and in the elements window also set the width to 20 and rows to 1 close the elements window now let's connect daytime multi-source 1 pin 0 to text field 2 pin in and pin 1 to text field 2 pin clock and connect pin i2c to, to the Arduino board pin i2c At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile built and upload button. 